Well, now that I'm officially a skier, I'd say it's time to relax. And nothing says relax more than Après Ski. Started in the Alps, it turns out Après Ski now takes place in almost every restaurant in almost every ski resort, including here at the Garibaldi Lift Co. In fact, they say they consider their Après to be an art form. So let's check out the masterpiece. It's kind of crazy. The sun comes out, a whole patio fills, the whole of the inside's full. Yeah, it's definitely a, a busy scene <laughs> and a fun scene. The word après is French for after, and it's clear that here at the GLC, this is the way to celebrate after a full day on the hill. Once they've had an amazing day on the hill, they want to celebrate or talk about how amazing their day was. We definitely have some great beer, great cocktails. After my day of skiing, I meet up with my friend and Apres Ski expert, Vanessa, to try out this social event. It's just got an amazing vibe. Yeah, it's just, just really fun. Yeah. These fully loaded Caesars, just what the doctor ordered to boost back my energy. Of course, no girl's hangout is complete without some grub. You have to try the nachos. For this New Zealand native and so many other skiers and snowboarders, Apres Ski has almost become a daily or weekly routine, which, judging by these yummy nachos, isn't hard to see why. The event has become so popular, in fact, that even visitors, including Fraser, who's from the UK, put it at the top of their Whistler to-do list. They told us that the Apres Ski is pretty good, so we came down and checked it out, and uh, the live bands out here are really impressive. Now that I'm nice and warmed up, it's time to hit another spot that's been doing Apres Ski for over 30 years. It's a pretty much a big party. It's always packed. Here at the Longhorn Saloon and Grill, 350 people pack its patio every day during peak season. Along with amazing views of the mountain, the saloon also has a live DJ, pool, and over-the-top cocktails to keep the party going. We have our legendary bulldog. It's a two ounce margarita, so it's uh, one and a half ounces of tequila, half an ounce of Cointro. It's a slushy margarita mix and a Corona flipped upside down inside it. It's wild. Yeah, absolutely crazy. Uh, every time is a new experience. Just such a great vibe. We've got the good music on, live DJ, and uh, of course, the brilliant shot ski. I mean, you've, you've tried the shot ski, right? I haven't. That sounds kind of dangerous. You haven't? Oh, definitely. Come on, let's go try it. There we go. One, two. Today, the culture of Apre ski has grown just as big as skiing and snowboarding. And if this is what mountain sports is all about, count me in. It is so loud in here. I've literally lost my voice, but I gotta say, I'm so happy I finally learned what this Apre ski is all about. But I think I have a bit more research to do, so cheers.